Oh yeah, what's up guys? Good morning. I know I'm looking a little a little rough, but fuck it. I just woke up. Alright, so I've had to pass two days off of work because you know I gotta I had to get the hoodies done and whatnot. And today's Friday. <coughs> and I'm working doubles all week this weekend. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'll be at work all day. So since I've been giving so much attention to the hoodies, I haven't had any time to work on the lewd. And I've been needing to change the oil for like the past week. And I got a couple of new car parts. Oh yeah. Judging from the thumbnail, you probably already know what this one is. But do you know what this one is? Take a guess, let me know. Pause the video and leave a comment below and let me know what you think it is. And if you guess it right, um, good for you, you got it. <laughs> I don't know. All right, well, I was gonna cut my hair, but I figured working on a lead is gonna be more important because I've been putting it off for so long. And um, with the haircut, I could always rush it. So depending on how long it takes me to work on the lewd, that's gonna be how much time I have to cut my hair. Whereas if I had cut my hair first, I probably might take my time and use too much time and then have not enough time to work on the lewd because I gotta change the oil and I gotta install this new part and I might as well go ahead and throw this new part in. These are the wheels. Um, they're actually going to somebody else. Someone actually bought them off for me. I was surprised. <laughs> I posted it on eBay and yo, someone caught my wheels. So this weekend, dude's gonna be picking it up. So goodbye work wheels. Mm, yeah, all right, well, let's go ahead and get to, let's go ahead and get today's video started. I only got a few hours before I gotta head out to work. All right. All right, so let me go ahead and show you guys what this is. You guys already know what it is, it is but let me show you the unboxing. So, we've been keeping up with my old, other videos. Oh shit. <laughs> um, know that my check engine light came on and it had to do with the um, emissions, whatever. So, pretty much it came down to either being the O2 sensor or the catalytic converter. Magna Flow Catalytic Converter. Oh shoot, and I got some uh, hair gel. I mean, pomade. Yeah. Woohoo! There we are. There we go. This is the new catalytic converter. All right, so before we get started with the catalytic converter install, I'm gonna go ahead and do the oil change, which is good because I need to get under the car anyways to install the catalytic converter. And at the same time, I could go and drain the water. So, let's do that. So we raise up the car. So I'm gonna put it on some two by fours. All right. Ooh. Shoot, I almost forgot to put something behind the wheels to Prevent the car from rolling backwards. Okay, lead is secure, it ain't gonna roll back. So right now, I'm looking for my little oil mat so I can lay down on and not spill oil on the ground. But, I have no idea where it's at. It's been so long since I did an oil change. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Get this under here. Right about there. Oh yeah, look at that. Engine oil drain bolt. And I gotta go to the right if it's facing towards me. A lot of people gave me shit about this, but I'm like, fuck it, man. I'm worried about efficiency and not having to do a lot of guesswork. Oh, and before I let the oil run, I'm going to go ahead and open the engine oil cap. Just so it can breathe better as the uh, oil is coming out. Yeah, yeah. All right, so next, I need to take out the uh, oil filter. Yo, this is like usually the hardest thing to do. Because like sometimes it'll be on like super tight. But I got these uh, like gloves with grips on it. 
So it's gonna make removing the oil filter a lot easier. My oil filter is up here. Um, it's only on the Prelude SH models. And before I unplug it, I mean, unscrew it, I wanna make sure that the oil drain is directly under the oil filter. That way when the oil leaks, it'll go straight to the oil pan. Snap. There it is. All right, so since the oil is draining and the car is raised, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the catalytic converter install. Yeah, this is gonna be a really easy install because it's just a bolt-on application. So you got three bolts on this end, three bolts on this end, and all I gotta do is screw in, screw in the O2 sensor. Should be easy, right? Let's find out. That's the circle we're trying to replace. And you can see the O2 sensor in the back. So this is bank one, this is the front one, upstream. And that is the downstream, the one in the back. Hence the name upstream and downstream. I'm assuming that's true because I don't know, it only makes sense, right? So yeah, let's go and get that out the way. So a cool thing I just realized is that the MagnaFlow catalytic converter comes with uh, two gaskets. This one and this one. The only downside is that they don't come with new bolts, so I'm going to have to reuse the ones I have. And they should be good. They might just be a little rusted. But yeah, alright, let's do this thing. Mm. Alright, so it was a little tricky, but I got it out. So, check this out. Oh man, this is the old catalytic converter. I had to take off part of the muffler because it was this one. This bolt was like impossible to reach under the car. I was like, fuck, man, I just got to take it out from right here so I could go ahead and, uh, you know, get the catalytic converter out, which is cool because if anything, I can just bolt it back on right here and it should be pretty easy to put it back on. So, yeah, look at this gasket, yo. Damn, that shit is like right. This is the new one. This is the old one. Ooh. Yeah, it's about 940. I'm hoping to get done by like... 10 20 10 30 because yeah i need like 30 minutes to get ready for work and probably squeeze in a haircut yeah all right yo so i just wanted to take a moment to you know just like look at how bad this catalytic converter is so this is the old one look how nasty and gunky it is in there all right and here is the new one So I thought I had replaced this part before, but it was actually on my old Toyota Camry. I had bought a new catalytic converter. But on the Lood, I didn't replace the catalytic converter. I actually got um, a WS2 Apexy exhaust. So for you know, for a little bit, I was like, damn, didn't I just replace this? But nope, never replaced it. So it makes sense that this would go bad because it's been a while. <sighs> All right, let's finish this up. All right, guys. I got some good news and some bad news. The good news, the loot is done. I got everything put back together. Got the oil change done, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. The bad news, oh shoot. The bad news is it's about 10.30. So I got to get ready for work. I don't really have time to mess with my hair, but I'm probably gonna squeeze it in somehow. But even worse, I have even worse news. What kind of helped me up was when putting everything back together, right? The catalytic converter and whatever, the freaking, um. The O2 sensor had gotten stripped. Like when I try to plug, uh, when I try to plug it back on to the catalytic converter, it wouldn't bite on to the to the uh, it wouldn't bite on. You know, it wouldn't screw in. So like, I guess I found a part where it kind of like hooked a little bit, and then I pushed down and turned it. So it was going in, then it just like it just got really hard, and I really didn't want to force it in. So I took it out, and I can see that it's stripped. So I was just like, fuck, man. It just, it really made me frustrated because like, man, like aftermarket parts, man, sometimes they just don't fit correctly with OEM parts. Or maybe that O2 sensor ain't even like a good O2 sensor. Maybe it's not even OEM. <laughs> so what do you guys suggest? Should I just like find some type of hack to like make it fit? Like I, I've seen people use like a putty or something to make sure it's sealed and blah, blah, blah. But the thing is the O2 sensor isn't screwed down all the way. So I was just thinking maybe Maybe I should just get a new O2 sensor, you know? And uh, maybe it'll fit more better. 
because I'm hoping that just the uh, the O2 sensor had got stripped. I hope the threads in the catalytic converter didn't also get stripped. But yeah, we'll see. All right, well, uh, the lead is finished. Engine oil is good. Catalytic converter is installed. I didn't get to reveal this new part to you guys. I'll show you guys another day. But yeah, all right, guys, I got to get ready for work. Uh, deuces. See y'all later. <laughs> Yo. I just realized I don't have any work clothes. I threw my clothes in the washing machine right before I started working on an elude and I need to let it dry. So I got about 30 minutes before I need to head out for work. So maybe 30 minutes is plenty of time. I just got to turn the heat up or something on the dryer. But yeah, all right, let's do this thing. All right, so I just got done cutting my hair a little bit. It only took me about 10 minutes. So I just did like a little half ass job. I did a two all the way around and uh, right here did like a little, like a one. Cause it gets a little, I have a weird shaped head, so I gotta kind of fade it right here. But uh, I try to make sure everything was nice and kind of roundish. We'll see, I'm about to take a shower and try to style it up. Yeah, all right. <clears throat> all right guys, I'm running pretty late to work as always. I was supposed to leave at 11 and it is about 11.15, but here is the moment of truth. Well, I mean, all I do is do oil change and put on a bolt-on type deal. I mean, just catalytic converter. But uh, the, the O2 sensor issue I was having earlier, it wasn't in all the way, but it is pretty snug. It's gonna stay in place. Uh, even with all the vibrations, it should be straight. But um, yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to look at it when I get off work or whatever, during break. But all right, yeah, so if you haven't noticed, I had just cut my hair. I squeezed in a quick uh, haircut. I did it like within 15 minutes. Oh shit. Damn, all right, well, I'm at the in this video real quick. All right guys, so I doubt anyone's really been keeping up with my vlogs because I've been posting back to back for the past four days. This video's gonna be the fifth day in a row. But uh, I mean, as you can see, or as you can tell, like yo, I've been like pretty much on a time crunch these past few days because everything's like, yo, I need to get this done by a certain time so everything could be, uh, you know, ready and blah, blah, blah. Because you know, I was doing the hoodies and the sooner I could get those done, the sooner I could get it sent out. And the sooner people could get a hoodie before it starts snowing on Tuesday. Yeah. And then, you know, like last night, I went out with some friends and they couldn't be seated until I was there. So I was on time crunch trying to meet them up while I was trying to like, you know, drop off some hoodies for people. Uh, and then, you know, this morning, you know, you saw, okay, so this morning, you know, I worked on the car, did my haircut, blah, blah, blah. All before I had to go to work. You know, I work all day to day. But yeah, but I guess I'll be chilling this weekend because I'm gonna be working every day, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'm, I ain't really gonna have much time to record, but I'll, I'll probably put some a little something together. I'm pretty sure most of you guys are pretty tired of seeing me all the time. But fuck it, you ain't gotta watch all my videos, it's all good. <laughs> I don't even watch all my videos. I mean, on my free time, sometimes. Sometimes I'll be going through old videos and I'm like, whoa, I forgot about that. So yeah, but all right, well, um, all right, well, I'm on my way to work. I'm gonna be a little late, but it's raining, so probably won't be that busy today. Lunch isn't usually that busy, but on Fridays, it's usually, usually pretty dis decent. But all right, guys, I'm gonna just cruise and enjoy the trip to work. All right, thanks for checking me out. See y'all next time. Deuces.